The best grape soft drink ever created is made right here in Alabama. Jay Grossman's sons in New Orleans introduced Grapico in 1916, although some accounts say it was as early as 1914. The carbonated drink's early success was due in large part to the implication that Grapico contained real grape juice, which it did not. Also in 1916, Jay Grossman's sons enlisted jazz composers Peter DeRose and Ivan Reed to write the sentimental ballad, Meet Me in the Land of Grapico. In 1917, Birmingham businessman Raymond Rochelle became the first bottler to buy Grapico syrup wholesale. Rochelle later incorporated his business as the Grapico Bottling Works, which eventually took over production and distribution of Grapico in Alabama and four other southeastern states. But in 1981, the Grapico franchise was sold to Birmingham's Buffalo Rock Company, where it's remained ever since. Every few years, the Grapico can gets a makeover. And to celebrate Grapico's 100th anniversary, the Buffalo Rock Company introduced a vintage-inspired Grapico soft drink made with real sugar and available in glass bottles. Novelist Fanny Flagg, who grew up in Birmingham, mentioned Grapico in her 1987 novel, Fry Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. In 2014, the food and dining website Thrillist selected Grapico to represent Alabama on the list of the most iconic soft drink of every state in America. Thank you, Grapico, for being delicious, and you're welcome, world.